We were all sucked down the modern farmhouse aesthetic at one point when Chip and Joanna Gaines kind of took over the world with this new style of design that seemed pretty achievable. It was cozy. It was popping up in all of our stores, Target, Home Goods. It was everywhere. It still is everywhere. But I do feel like people are starting to gravitate out of the farmhouse aesthetic. And I think a lot of people just went a little too hard. And I was thinking to myself, I should do a video about what you can do to upgrade your modern farmhouse. If you participated in the trend of the reclaimed wood wall or the barn door or whatever, here are my suggestions of what you could do to change it up a bit without spending a ton of money, without just getting rid of it. Because most of my videos, I'm just like, nix it, get rid of that. But if you can't get rid of it and you just wanna make some upgrades to your modern farmhouse, here are my suggestions of what you could do. You're welcome. Let's start off with the barn door. That's kind of the main decor piece that I think of when someone says farmhouse. I think barn door. Listen, a barn door is super useful because sometimes you can't have a pocket door or you don't have the space for a real door. So a barn door does come in handy. So if you have a barn door right now, my suggestion is to actually get hidden hardware. Instead of having the exposed hardware, that make it look very barn, like you're in an actual barn, you don't want that. So instead of getting rid of the whole barn door, just replace the hardware so that it becomes a little bit more modern and not, yeah, so barn. Why, why do you want it to look like you're in a barn? I think that's kind of the whole decorating approach with the farmhouse aesthetic is putting in items that actually belong in a barn. And we'll get to that actually later in the video. Or just replace the entire door itself with something very sleek. So you still have the barn door, it just doesn't look like the farmhouse aesthetic anymore. You get to keep the practicality of having this sliding door because let's be honest, it does come in handy and some people do need it, but you have a more upgraded just general version. There's no, there's really no theme to this. This is just a very standard door. So all about getting away from the theme in this video is getting away from having any type of theme in your house is kind of my approach to design. You don't want to go all to one style. And I think that's where farmhouse really took over. You will have nothing else in the world of design in your home besides <laughs> the farmhouse barn aesthetic weird. If you have shiplap, I don't I don't dislike shiplap that much. There are worse things than shiplap. But if you do have shiplap, my first suggestion would be if it's real wood, I think some people install shiplap that's not actually wood, but if it is real wood, I would suggest sanding it down and staining it a nice color, just bringing it back to its natural roots and having a nice wood wall instead of it being white. But again, a white shiplap wall isn't the worst thing. But I do have another suggestion that I think really upgrades the space. If I were to have a shiplap wall, I would continue it onto my ceiling. I think it looks really nice and put together when the shiplap continues. And it starts to feel less farmhouse and more cottage looking, which I personally like a cottage looking room than the farmhouse looking room. So if you have shiplap, just continue it. It makes it look more cohesive. It doesn't give that accent wall type feel. And I think, yeah, this type of example kind of shows my point. Go all out, cover your entire room with shiplap, and I think it does. I think it looks nice. I actually really, I really like this look. I also really like the idea of painting your shiplap. If you have the all white modern farmhouse look, literally only black and white are the only colors that farmhouse allows. Maybe maybe a navy, maybe a navy. But if you have the white shiplap, maybe play around with some colors. You know, add in a nice color over your shiplap. If you have a reclaimed wood wall, this is one of those things that I've talked about in other videos where you should just get rid of it. But okay, maybe you don't wanna get rid of it. Maybe you spent hours putting together this reclaimed 
wood wall. My first suggestion would be to stain it all one color. I think what really throws it off is when the planks are, some are dark, some are light. I think staining it all one color will make it look a lot more cohesive and take you out of, you know, again, the farmhouse aesthetic. Another suggestion I would have is to make it not 3D. Oh. The B. Anyways, another suggestion I would have is making it... Stop it. Okay, for the third time, another suggestion I would have is making it not 3D. Some people made this, like, weird reclaimed wood, like, 3D wall. It almost looks like you could rock climb it. I suggest taking out the 3D pieces and making the wall completely flat and staining it all a cohesive color, it will really upgrade the look. Because this, this is pretty bad. I would, this is one of the things where I'm like, you just, you just got, you just got to get rid of it. Back to talking about the colors that come with farmhouse aesthetic. It's black, it's white, it's green. They love green. And it's navy blue and gray and maybe some beige. Those are the colors that come with the farmhouse aesthetic. And here's a really good example image of ways to add in some pops without going crazy. I think just adding in accessories that have some orange or red or really any other color, some yellow, can really help change the mood of the space, especially with lamps or books or throws it's really easy to add in some color without going too crazy i personally feel like this type of aesthetic is a little bit more timeless is more lasting than the farmhouse i don't know where the farmhouse came from like why it took over the world i feel like the farmhouse aesthetic really just does belong on a farm if you live on a farm it's interesting to me that this type of design even with exterior architecture will pop up in a city even in Chicago which has beautiful brick buildings when you walk the streets of Lincoln Park and then you'll see like a white farmhouse building it's very interesting it really it really took over now listen if you have the exposed hanging bulbs which I've talked about before I think the easiest way to upgrade these is to first eliminate some of the bulbs I feel like a lot of people did like huge clusters of bulbs <laughs> above their dining table. I don't know why. Eliminate some of them. And then my other suggestion is to buy shades for them. You even could buy this type of farmhouse shade, which is definitely better than the exposed bulb. A nice iron shade, which I, I really don't hate, could still fit in nicely. I'm trying to give you suggestions that still fit in nice with with the decor you've already gone with but upgrading it you know what i mean so taking away the exposed bulb and adding in something like this it will take away the really bad farmhouse touches and replacing it with good farmhouse touches because there is good design to the farmhouse while i was digging for images for this video i found nice farmhouse decor it's not all bad it's not my style at all but there is bad farmhouse decor and there is good farmhouse decor Every area in design, I feel like, can be done correctly. A lot of people just don't. <laughs> now let's talk about beams. The wooden beams that everyone has at the top of their farmhouse giant living room. Keep them. <laughs> Keep them. I actually really like a beam. And I don't think you can really go wrong with what color you paint them. You could do black, you could do white, keep it natural. Yeah, I guess I have no suggestion for the beams. I just wanted to scare you to think that I didn't like them, but I do. It adds really nice character, I think. See, you can pull pieces from every aesthetic. You know what I mean? And that's like the one I would pull, I guess, <laughs> from farmhouse. As for farmhouse accessories, this is where I feel like a lot of people went wrong, but it's also the easiest thing to fix. First off, anything that actually belongs in a barn doesn't belong in your house. Any type of like wheelbarrow thing, any like watering can, anything that's 
too literal for any type of design that kind of screams the aesthetic, you don't, you don't want to do. You only want to have hints, you know? When it screams in your face, farmhouse, that's when you've gone a little too far. So luckily, accessorizing, especially with vintage items, isn't too hard. So I would just replace a lot of the things that scream farmhouse. Any type of clock, any type of window pane, any type of vintage door. Those are the things that you kind of want to start switching out and then adding in other accessories. And I'm not saying you have to go super modern with your accessorizing. You can still stay vintage, which I love, but adding in things that are a little bit more antique feeling or a little bit more eclectic and staying away from the things that feel like you're in the country, if this makes sense. This will really help upgrade your space to feel less farmhouse and more just vintage in general because collecting vintage accessories is fun and you can really curate your home to feel a certain aesthetic through that. So you can either go this direction or you can go this direction, which feels like, oh, I got this handed down to me from my grandmother. Mix mix it up from all all your grandparents. You can have a little country, but also have a little city. Have a little French. Have a little Swedish. Have a little Japanese. I don't know. You, you get the point. Mix it. Just mix it. Word signage, like eat, or again, farmhouse. People just straight up have the sign farmhouse in their farmhouse. If you like word art, there actually is good word art. It doesn't have to go down this like weird cursive, like you shopped at Michael's saying gather. There's cute, there is cute word art. Posters, old posters, any anything that goes down this route, I think is a nice alternative to, you know, kitchen. And I don't know why this is such a big trend to have a wreath over your mirror in the farmhouse aesthetic. It's really interesting because I feel like wreaths are for holiday, for Christmas or whatever. But no, in the farmhouse world of Chip and Joanna, we love a faux eucalyptus wreath above a mirror or on a mirror above your fireplace. And I was researching for examples of what you could do as an alternative besides just getting rid of it. And I did find this fun suggestion of hanging vintage art instead of a wreath over a mirror. I like this. I like this little overlap. It kind of goes along with my suggestion of hanging vintage art over a window. But instead of having a wreath over your mirror, put a little piece of vintage art. I think it's cute. And those are all of my suggestions of how you can make your farmhouse look a little less farmhouse, or at least taking away the cheesy or bad decor pieces of farmhouse living and replacing it with alternatives that still give that aesthetic if that's what you like, but just making it look, yeah, less cheesy or just so on the nose. You don't want decor that makes you feel like you're in a theme or too much of a theme. Take away the things that are really, yes, again, on the nose and replace it with some more subtle touches. You know, that's it, that's all. Now listen, I was suggested to watch this new show called Happy, Happy to be Home with the Bankos. Bankos? The Bankos. This is a new show, I think, produced by Chip and Joanna Gaines that I was recommended to watch. So maybe we could do a video on that where we watch that show. I don't know. Also, I have a video coming up where I'm going to Home Goods, and I don't really like Home Goods, so that should be fun. And any other video suggestions you would like to see, leave them down below. And before I go, I just wanted to thank everybody for purchasing a pillow. If you purchased a pillow from Was, we sold out in less than 20 hours, which is pretty crazy. And I had all the pillows stacked. This was a whole working office this past week. It was actually kind of stressful shipping out that 
that many pillows. But it looks like some of you have already received them. And uh, just saying thanks for supporting my small little biz. And more pillows to come. So if you didn't get one, make sure to follow that was the store or my Instagram or whatever if you want to be updated when the new pillows are launching. And I think that's going to be in a few months. I'm about to go on vacation. And when I mean vacation, I'm just going home to Chicago for three weeks. Which is, I guess, yeah, it's vacation. And I'm going to my lake house. I'm very excited. Um, all right. I'm going to go sit on my couch. <laughs> Bye.